OK, Savage, you'll go. As, uh... Uh, are you looking at me? Taxi driver, Robert De Niro! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason, and I live here in a magical underground forest with a hare. Now and then, guests pop down to try their hand at some really quite bizarre stuff. And if they do that stuff well, they could be going back to the real world with £15,000. But only if they remember one golden rule. <laughs> oh, you've scared him off. And on this show, if our contestants want to win £15,000, scaring the hare is not an option. Trouble is that with challenges like these, that's not going to be easy. And if they scare the hare too many times, they'll go home with nothing. Let's meet our guests. Hi, guys. Oh, great to meet you all. Can I just apologise for the absence of hair? He's got an irrational fear of a bunch of complete strangers shouting at him in unison. <laughs> so, Sheila, tell us about the gang. This is my youngest son and my oldest daughter. This is Mark and Steph. Hi, guys. And I'm Hi. Sheila. I'm 55 and... You're never! I am. Do you the leader of the gang? I am, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Any grandchildren? I've got seven grandchildren and five step-grandchildren. Grandma, we love you. Grandma, we do. All that lot must keep you really young at heart. Yeah, they do. We tend to get together on a night on um, computer games. I love it. I want to come to your house. <laughs> Steph, how do you keep up with Mum? It's not a case of keeping up with her, it's a case of her keeping up with me. OK, good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> We're raising the stakes now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a full-time working mother of two. I work for Hull Kingston Rose Education and Sport Trust. I'm sensing a really keen competitive spirit in the oh, scene. Yeah. Mark, you're a stay-at-home dad yep. with six children to look yes. at. Yes. Yeah. Just all over, all over. All over. Mm. <laughs> so you know how to be assertive? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Have you got any tips for dealing with a, a very nervy young hair? Yeah, you've got to be firm but fair. Fantastic. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you, Sheila. I've got something for you. Uh, thank you. Mark, you too. Thank you very much. And Steph? Thank you. I'm going to call you lot Mother's Pride. Yeah. It's a bit of a family affair in the forest today. So, guys, talk to me. Who, who are you, first of all? My name's Ben. I'm a 21-year-old student from Glasgow. This is my twin brother, Nicky, who's also a student, and this is our cousin, Lucy, who's a hairdresser. Lovely to meet you all. Is it true, this whole thing about twins knowing how each other are thinking and feeling? If it was true, I think Nicky would have done a bit better in his exams. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I did rather okay. well. Boys, I just want to test my theory out here. Nicky, I, I want you to concentrate. Just think of one of the following shapes. A square, a triangle, or a circle. Focus on it. Have you got one? Yep. OK. Ben, what's he thinking of? I'll go for a triangle. Pause. What was the shape you're thinking of? Circle. Complete load of rubbish. <laughs> Complete waste of time. <laughs> you both play for the same rugby team. So who's the best player? Well, Ben's actually been on the bench for most of the season and I've been a, a starter. Yeah, it's got to be tricky for the ref. Yeah, we've got away with a, with a few yellow cards in our team. Fantastic. <laughs> Lucy, you are Barbie. <laughs> so what yeah. sort of skills do you bring to the team? Well, Nick and Ben are more sporty than me and they're really competitive, so I'm here to kind of... Keep the peace. You're the peacekeeper. <laughs> yeah. I like that. We've got something for you here, Ben. Thank you. Nikki. Thank you very much. And Lucy. Thank you. And because of the whole kind of rugby and hairdressing thing, I'm going to call you Scrum and Scrunch. OK, you have two very important jobs. First, you must collect some carrots. Second, you must not scare hair. Whoever collects the most carrots could be gaily skipping home with £15,000. <laughs> Not bad for 30 minutes' work. So, let's do this. I'm here, you're there, but where's hair? Hello, it's me, the voice of the forest, formerly known as spokesperson of the Glade. This is game one. The hare's in bed. He had one too many carrot juices down the dog and duck yesterday. Oh, I like it there. Landlord's got three legs. Anyway, the hare's exhausted, but his bed is surrounded by six giant alarm clocks, any of which could go off at any time. That's the last thing you need. It's the contestant's job to keep turning them off so hair can have a lie-in. Once a clock starts, they've only got ten seconds to get to it and turn it off. If they don't, its alarm will ring and that will scare the hair. If they can keep turning the clocks off till the sun comes up, they'll win three carrots. But scare hair three times and he'll storm off taking the carrots with him. 
To make things interesting, the contestants have to do all of this wearing a ridiculous outfit. So, will the hair get his lion? We're about to find out, because Mother's Pride are up first. Let's see which team member they've chosen to play Alarm Agedon! So, Steph... I, I must keep my voice down, because it's a real light sleeper. Look, look, watch this, look. Fiona Bruce. <laughs> see? <laughs> Fascinating stuff, isn't it? <laughs> OK, Steph. Stop the clocks and whatever you do, don't scare the hair. Good luck. Come on, Steph. Right, where's the first one? There it is, she's got it. <laughs> and the next one at the back now. Thank you, Mum. Come on, Steph. Oh, dear, that's three clocks going at the same time now. Got that one, but can she get the other two? Oh, close! Come on! Oh no, it's too late! The hair is scared! He is off! And that's her first scare. Oh, phew. Hair is now back in bed. And Steph is back in the game. Just two scares left. That's the first clock off. Steph's flagging now. There's a tired lady in a covered bin bag. She's definitely lost some momentum. Is she going to reach that one? No, it's the second scare! He'd only just got back to sleep. Off he goes. One more scare. It's curtains for Steph. He's settled now, but just 15 seconds till sunrise. Can she do it? You can do this, Steph! You can do this, Steph. Come on! Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, it was close! <laughs> and it's morning! Steph literally against the clock. Well done, Steph. It's all right. You're going to stop hopping. You found a kind of second wind there. Just talk us through it. Really tiring. I didn't expect it to be quite so tiring. And as soon as I put one clock off, then I looked and another one's nearly red. And it's... Really hard to keep your balance no, as well. It does, and your brain starts to go, doesn't yeah. it? You're thinking, I thought, did I not get that one? Have I not already done that one? I looked twice at this one at one point as well because I pressed it and then I thought, did I press it or not? And it took a while to register. It's just one of those thought. activities that you just generally, for some reason, you don't do it in life. It I don't know why. <laughs> you see, Mum was shouting herself hoarse. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did yourself and your team proud. You kept hair in Dreamland, which means I'll now take his carrots and hopefully I won't wake him because he does need his sleep. There we go. There you carrots. Thanks ever so much. Congratulations, Steph. Thank Fantastic you very much. effort. And so the very naughty princess was never allowed in the castle again. And that's the story of Sarah Ferguson. <laughs> oh, look, there he is. He's asleep now, Nicky. Look. Brilliant. OK. So, Nicky, it's not long until uh, cock crows. Stop the clocks and whatever you do, don't. Scare the hair. Good luck. Thank you. And he's off. Oh, he's got to that first clock fine. What a powerful leap he's got. Like a bullfrog in a nightcap. Oh, one clock after the other. Oh, they're pointing, but two different clocks counting down now. Come on, Nicky. Really getting his cardiovascular system working now. Oh, sleepy little hair. There he goes. He is doing brilliantly. Uh, just 20 seconds till the sunrise. He's just got to keep going. He looks unstoppable. I sent a new fitness DVD. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, the boy's making it look easy. He has got da bounce. <laughs> and it's daybreak. And that performance might have got him into Badger's Book of Records. That is Absolutely superb. One of the best performances I've ever seen in the forest. Where does that fitness come from, Nicky? I've played rugby since I was younger and I go to the gym quite a lot, so that's probably where. I've got to say, you've made that outfit your, your own, you know. Do you want to take that home with you? I could maybe have a word with hair? Definitely not. <laughs> As you can see, the young fella's still asleep, which means you can take a well-deserved three carrots to your team members. There you go. Nicky, great effort. Neither of you have any idea how the other team did. No. Okay, That's good. Awesome. 
So, Scrum and Scrunch, I can tell you that Mother's Pride hopped their way to three carrots. <laughs> right? And Mother's Pride, Scrum and Scrunch, left Hare's bedside. Also with three carrots. <laughs> So here's a question. Why on earth would mature adults choose to spend a Saturday evening bouncing about like lunatics in sleeping bags? Well, I can think of a few reasons, but £15,000 is a pretty good one. So morning has certainly broken. Let's hope nothing else does too. Hare's holding an art exhibition. Of course he is. He's currently going through his impressionist period. Personally, I like his impression of Badger. In this game, it's the contestant's job to help Hare hang his paintings. But would you believe it, by complete and utter coincidence, there's also an exhibition of precariously placed priceless artefacts in the way. Who makes these arrangements? Carrying the paintings around their neck, contestants must hang them without knocking over any of the valuables on the way. If they break anything, it'll scare Hare and he'll leg it. Three breakages means three scares and Hare will leave the exhibition for good, taking his carrots with him. But if they successfully hang three paintings, they'll win his carrots. I'm a bit of an artist myself. You should see what I can do with some pasta shapes and a bit of glitter. Anyway, someone's called this game Fars Attacks! All breakages must be paid for. See, my opinion, uh, Hare's work questions the very way we perceive art. Hare is asking, when you enter the gallery, does not the gallery also enter you? <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, your life is full to bursting with grandkids. <laughs> if you win the £15,000, is that where it's going? I want to go on holiday. I've never been abroad. You've uh, never been never abroad? Been abroad, and I want to go off on a holiday. Oh, you deserve to yeah, do that. That's a yeah. lovely idea. Yeah, hopefully I'll maybe take my sister with me as well. <laughs> OK, Sheila, when you're ready, take the first canvas, enter the gallery, and right. whatever you do, don't scare the hair. Okay. Good luck! <laughs> OK, Sheila's off. She hangs the first painting, but at this stage, it's round her neck. Looking good, Sheila. Give us a twirl. Oh, it suits her. Nice, Ralph. Anyway, in she goes. Slowly, Mum, you've got loads of time. Hair's dancing there, nervously. Ooh, that was Slow and steady from Sheila. Am I actually there yet? Yeah, Sheila. Steady. Steady. Yeah, careful. Apparently those vases attack. Nice technique. Nice. Coming at this sideways. Is that wise? <laughs> oh, Doing great, Sheila. Keep going. I can't see where the wall is. That might be because you've got a painting over your head. Oh, owl cam there. Thank you, Al. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, fabulous. The first picture is hung. Two more to go. Don't run in an art gallery, Sheila. You might trip. Hair's happy. Look at those perky little ears. He's quite a good artist, actually. He's not very good at faces. Sheila wearing the second picture. Easy does it. Steady now. That's better. Oh, God. Careful. Steph's become very over-involved. Oh, That's like wobble there. Oh, come on, Sheila. You get a bus through there. In fact, I think getting a bus through there is the next game. I think you're playing one of your games, Sheila. That's it. Nice. Really in the thick of it now. It's all one wobbling there, nearly went. Go on, you do that. Keep going, Mum. Go on, you do that. And now, backing up uh, towards the hair head oh, hook. Well. And that's a second painting hung. No scares yet for Sheila or the hair. Fantastic stuff. Oh, my word, look at the size of it. <laughs> Come on, Mum, keep going. It's too big. Massive <laughs> painting now. Straight down on this one. I can't go straight. I'm not going to mess with you, Sheila. It's a strange look. <laughs> Sheila's making this look easy and a bit weird. Oh, oh, Did a great job, Sheila. Brilliant. Oh, Storming through there. Careful, careful. Oh. Lovely rear view, but that picture does seem heavy. <laughs> Slight wobble. Just 20 seconds left now. Right.
crashing for the exit. Right, there's two scares left. Sheila needs to get moving with her enormous painting head. Carnage! Oh, that's a second scare, but it doesn't matter because she's out of time anyway. Goodbye, carrots. It's broken vases, broken dreams for the broken mother's pride. Sheila, 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 oh, I'm so sad. You, you were fantastic. Your technique was perfect, which is why you only had five seconds at the very last moment. But unfortunately, you knocked over one of the vases. I know. I feel a bit bad letting the kids down a bit, you, you know. Did, you but... did let them down. Did she let you down? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Maybe a little bit. Since Hair's exhibition is officially a washout and we've got no vases left. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not going to be getting any carrots, but you do get some well-deserved applause. Well done, <laughs> Sheila. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Ben, you know what you need to do. After everyone's bedroom gymnastics earlier, the scores were three all, but you've no idea how Sheila just did, have you? No clue, no. And I'm thinking this isn't an ideal game for a rugby player. Am I wrong? Uh, I think I'm going to have to go against all my natural instincts, not to just run through the street in the middle of this. <laughs> so what's, what's the game plan? What's going through your mind right now? I think uh, cool, calm and collective is the way I'm going to go for this game. Yep. Guys, he's going to hold it together. <laughs> yep. Andy Warhol once said, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. Don't blow it. And whatever you do, don't scare the hair. Good luck! <laughs> Andy's away. Good, calm start. Put your back into it, Ben. Uh, but mainly ahead. <laughs> Up. Good, strong start, as you'd expect from a rugby player. Very practice manoeuvre, this. Hair would be so rubbish at this game. Just look at these big, floppy ears. <laughs> Ben's not hanging about, though. Look at him go. Straight your back, straight your back. Careful, bustle. <laughs> That's the first picture already hung. Well done, Ben. No scares yet. Back he goes. Second picture. Hair there, suffering for his art. Well, they're not as much as Ben. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on! Oh! Why am I saying oh? Behind you! Oh, blimey, that's close! Remember, he's got to hang all three pictures, and if he breaks anything, he'll scare the hair. <laughs> what is he trying to do there? <laughs> that is a tight squeeze. <laughs> madness, this pure madness. Oh, she can hardly bear to watch. But he's there, though. Well hung, sir. Dashing back now. There you go. How did he get the... Oh, sorry, that's his twin. Third and final picture, and this is the biggest. Oh, that one's teetering, and you don't want teetering in this game. If he can hang this last picture, he'll get his hands on the carrots. Oh, he's edging, edging. Oh, don't tell me he's trying to get through there again. Hair's worried. Either that or his batteries are running down. No! No! Oh, that was so close. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh, but somehow he's through. Oh, but there it goes. Hair's scared. He's off. Scarpered. <laughs> Two scares left. Last ten seconds. Careful, Ben. Careful. Five, four, three. It's close to one. And he's hung it. Has he done it in time? It looked close. You might need an adjudicator. Where's Badger? That was amazing. Very, very close. Came right down to the white. I can tell you. The time ended one second before you hung the picture. Oh. So sorry. That is hard. 
was really, really uh, tough. What, but let me just ask one question. You went through that route in the far corner, you know, the one where you clench the buttocks and the stomach <laughs> and the whole... <laughs> and you move like that. Yeah. And then the, the, the wobbly, wobbly vase thing, yeah. yeah? But then you chose to do it a second time. Worked the first time, I thought. We'll go for it again. Just, just one last thing, Ben. Just, just think of a colour, all right? Red, yellow or blue. Don't say it, just think of it. Nicky, what's he thinking of? Yellow. It's yellow, isn't it? No, it's blue. Oh. <laughs> well, there we go. You ran out of time, so Hair's exhibition is cancelled oh. and you'll never hang canvas in this town again. But you gave it your best shot. Now, sneak away under cover of diversionary applause. Well done, Ben. <laughs> really good over there. There you go. <laughs> so, you've both been helping Hair. With your exhibition, but you don't know how many carrots the opposition just got, do you? No. Nope. And I can tell you, Mother's Pride, that Scrum and Scrunch just bagged zero. Yes! <laughs> Sheila! That was me! <laughs> the Scrum and Scrunch, Mother's Pride, managed to leave the exhibition with zero! <laughs> Which means three all. But everything could change in the next few minutes as you're about to indulge in a mindless frenzy of carrot-based larceny. Hare has let you into his home and his art exhibition. But his trust in you, quite frankly, is misplaced because now you're going to steal the only thing he loves. No, not his itemised collection of Fiona Bruce workout DVDs. <laughs> but his carrots! <laughs> Question, what gives hair a buzz? Answer, trying to prevent allotment theft by tying carrots to giant electrified copper sticks. My dad used to do that with his rhubarb before the accident. In this final game, contestants must try and steal as many carrots as they can without touching the electric wire. If they succeed, they keep the carrots, but if they touch the wire, they set off an alarm, scaring poor hair. To cancel the alarm and calm him down, they must return the offending carrots to his personal carrot crate. Our teams go head to head and there are 18 carrots each up for grabs. But remember, the bigger bunches are much harder to collect. It all seems like a lot of hassle, doesn't it? Hare should buy his carrots online, like a normal hare. But while he doesn't, we get to play What's Up, Shock! Right, there are 18 carrots each up for grabs in the allotment. You each need one person to do the black. Lucy, you're a hairdresser. Yeah. So there's no problem in having a steady hand. That's your job, isn't it? Well, I should, it should be, but um, I did clip Ben's ear once. Did you? Did you? She's good. There's a scar. Can you see the scar? <laughs> All right. Good luck. Over to Mother's Pride. <laughs> so, by a process of deduction, I can tell that it's the big guy in the middle that's doing oh, this thing. one. I don't need to remind you, Mum's holiday, yep. her first time ever abroad, Mark, is riding on this. Well, I mean, I've never been abroad, so it might be nice to go for a family holiday as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is just for me. <laughs> you have been told, Mark. Oh, Absolutely. Win, That's what she was saying. <laughs> So these next few minutes are crucial. Whatever happens in Hare's high security bunker could fatten someone's bank balance to the tune of 15 grand. <laughs> No, you're not actually connecting the carrots to the mains. Yeah, that's something you should never do. OK, you've got four minutes to steal as many of Hare's carrots as you can. So, mind the stalks, nab the carrots, and whatever you do, don't scare the hare. Here we go! Yes, that's what I said. They're getting stuck in. Look at the concentration there. The family supporting what is essentially embezzlement. need to go back to stop the alarm. Lucy's got a chance to steam ahead with two carrots. Oh, no, she's blown it! <laughs> and there's a returns policy on those carrots. <laughs> Air patrolling. Lucy's making a start. Mark's racing ahead with a carrot duo. Oh, and Mark's got it, and so has Lucy. Hare's worried that his security system isn't as good as he thought. Well, that's what you get if you buy one off a weasel in a pub. Mark's doing really well. Yes, he's got three! Into the basket. No plastic bags here. Not since Hedgehog got caught in one. Oh, Lucy, no! Mark is going for another one. 
As Lucy's going for the triple, she's shaking and hair's annoyed. Where's neighbourhood carrot watch when you need them? Mark's got another. He's getting quite good at this. Weird. Oh, scared for Lucy! Oh, back in here's crate, Lucy. Smoothly done, Mark. Fortunately, there are a lot of witnesses to these thefts. They're doing well. Yes, there's one more carrot each. Well Hare's got that look in his eye. I think it's halogen. Steady, Lucy. Quivering. And she gets it. And Mark's got another one too. She's really going for it, but she's a scare. Oh, Hare's off to claim it back. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Marks, no carrots left. Come on, Lucy. Oh, with that scare, it's surely game over. It is poor hair. But you will pay the price if you put all your carrots in one basket. As allotments have just been well and truly cleaned out, but who's going on for a chance to earn a whopping... £15,000! <laughs> and who's going home empty-handed? See, it all comes down to carrots, baby. Scrum and scrunch. You went into the allotment with three. You left with six. <laughs> yeah. Mother's pride. You arrived at the carrot patch with three. You departed with 12! <laughs> Use your carrots to try and win £15,000, but I'm afraid, scrum and scrunch. Unfortunately, you did scare hair once too often. You're leaving the forest with absolutely nothing. Before you go, Ben, just look into my eyes. I want you to think of a vegetable. Any orange pointy vegetable that's coveted by a hair. I've got, got the one. image in your mind. I've got it. Okay, over to the twin. Nicky, what's he thinking about? Explodes. <laughs> I'm so pleased you're leaving. <laughs> what can I say? I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. The bridge is that way. Scrum and scrunch! Sheila, Mark, the Steph. It's time to hopefully swap those carrots for cash in the following way. In this final game, it's Mother's Pride's job to try and trap the hare under a net. Which sounds bad, but at least we're not sending him to a circus. In order to get him under that net, I'm going to ask some questions. Get one of them right, and the gate will open, allowing hare into the garden. A second correct answer, and the net will rise, tempting hare over to those carrots, and of course, underneath that net. A third right answer will drop the net, catching the hare, and Mother's Pride will win £15,000. Watch out, though. Any wrong answers will detonate these high explosives, and that will scare the hare. And as ever, three scares, and you go home with nothing. It all comes down to this. Three correct answers means £15,000. Three wrong answers... Nothing. Dare I say it? No holiday for Sheila. I'm, I'm not going to try and say that again. Another whip round. Yeah. <laughs> It'll cost me, won't it? Yeah, it will. Exactly. <laughs> OK, here comes hair. And if you listen closely, through the trees, you should just hear a question. The hare is having an Italian night and wants to serve some traditional Italian cheese to his guests. Which cheese should he serve? Is it A, Asiago, B, Roquefort, or C, Manchego? I would have said C. I'm not sure, I, I don't know. I thought it's German, isn't it? Yeah, I would have thought so. It sounds German. German. Yeah. So which of these is a traditional Italian cheese? Asiago, Roquefort or Manchego? Uh, I'm swaying towards it. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's um, just the yeah, spelling of it or... Because I don't actually see. know. Manchego sounds more Spanish. Rockford sounds French. Yeah, right, French yeah, yeah. or German. Is, yeah. I think it's going to be A. Um, but I'm swaying towards A. Oh, but I don't know. I would be more 
tempted to go for A. Yeah. See how it goes. Should we go with there? Yeah. Aye. If you're right, the gate will open. And hair will move closer to those carrots, and in turn you'll be moving closer to that £15,000. But if you're wrong, you'll scare hair. And you can only do that three times, guys, before mm -hmm. you're leaving the forest with nothing. Are we going aye? I still think it. I still think it. Yeah. Right. I still think it's a guess. Yeah. So, it falls to Sheila. It does. If you're sure, Sheila, that that's the answer, then you need to press plunger A. Right, I, th I think we're going to have to go with A. Yes. Nothing right. Yeah. OK, take the plunge. OK, he wants those carrots. He is desperate for them. In order for him to get them, you've got to get another question right. Here's your next question. The hare and his friends went to a theme park the other day, but the hare was too scared to go on any of the rides, especially a particularly scary-looking one called Oblivion. Which theme park were they at? Is it A, Chessington World of Adventures, B, Thorpe Park, or C? Alton, Alton Towers. Towers. Definitely. Definitely. Alton Towers. No indecision here, Sheila. No, I'm no, like, no, oh, no, is there? No. Well, I, own, I know because I've, I've never been to the other two and I've been on the ride and I have been to Alton Towers. And what was it like? Really good but scary. Made me scream. <laughs> Story of his life. <laughs> <laughs> if you're right, the net goes up. You're one question away Hello. from £15,000. Oh, gosh. If you're wrong, of course, you'll scare hair and that's not good. We shall? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely positive. Yeah. OK. Go for it. Take that plunge. Yeah. That was impressive. OK. This question could land you the £15,000. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. OK, here it goes. The hare was bored last week and decided to organise his books into the order they were first published, but he found it much more difficult than he expected. Can you lend a hand and pick out the oldest of these three for him? Is it A, Great Expectations, B, Pride and Prejudice, or C, Gulliver's Travels? It might be Gulliver's Travels, but I'm not 100%. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Who's it is. Who's the reader? And are you well, all gamers, all but who's read, the reader? But not I'll, the classics, these, really. These two. And I can't say that when I read a book, I would look at the date it was published. Have any of you read any of these books? Oh, yeah, a long time ago. No. <laughs> we would have done them at school, but yeah. that is a long time ago, isn't it? So, um, so... I have no idea. OK. So the question is, which of these books was published first? Was it A, Great Expectations, B, Pride and Prejudice, or C, Gulliver's Travels? I first thought it might be Gulliver's Travels, but... That's um, two of you that have got a good right, we'll go with that. Travels. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a hit if it's wrong, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Agreed? Yep. Yeah. Guys, you need to get one more question right. It's as simple as that. If you get it right, you'll drop the net on hair and you'll leave here with £15,000. But if you get it wrong, you'll scare hair. And if you do that three times, you'll be leaving with nothing. So make sure that you're as positive as you can be about your choice. See, Gulliver's Travels. See, Gulliver's Travels. So, Steph, the responsibility falls to you. Take that plunge. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's just brilliant! That's just good ever! That's just fantastic! Steph, well done! Oh. Sheila! Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> so you've said you said at the start of all this that if you had the opportunity to win that kind of money, that you'd go abroad for the first time Absolutely. in your life. Oh, I'm going! <laughs> You're actually going! <laughs> Look out, world! <laughs> Sheila's coming! I'm on the way. <laughs> so what can I say? You've been absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's been a great day. Mother's Pride, great. you're taking home... Uh -huh. £15,000! Oh. Well right, I'm letting you out. Don't fret. Everybody wins. You've got the hamper full of cash and they've got the money. It's brilliant! Oh. <laughs> My name's Jason. And I live in a magic forest oh. with my mate Hare. We're always here, so pop down any time. Just remember the one rule. Don't scare the hare. Oh. What was wrong with you earlier, Flu? Measles?
mitosis. Solving the curse of the black spot aboard a pirate ship while avoiding the plank. Doctor Who's next. While later we're down to the remaining 16 all dancing their socks off. So you think you can dance is at seven. Four, two, nine, one. <laughs> your smile bring me laughter all the while in this world where we live there should be more happiness so much joy you can give to each brand new bright tomorrow make me happy through the years never bring me any tears let your arms be as warm as the sun from up above. Bring me fun, bring me sunshine, bring me love. Routines all practiced to perfection, we hope. So you think you can dance in 45 minutes. Right now though on BBC One and BBC One HD, this might